It's really the only uh, place that we are seeing brake lights at this point. Here's your updated drive time. 101 to downtown Phoenix, uh, 21 minutes. I don't know. These maps are all over the place. Let's widen out the view to show you that the rest of the Valley Freeway system is quiet, but we've got a new traffic alert uh, north of Wickenburg. ADOT's uh, indicating that the US 93 is shut down in both directions. It's closed north of the 71. So the 71 is that roadway that you might take to Car uh, Congress or Darnell. Uh, you know, this is a major thoroughfare. So if you are lucky enough to maybe start your weekend early, maybe you're heading to Vegas, then that is the normal route that you folks use to get to Vegas. Uh, a couple of different options. Can you wait this out? I think that would be your best bet. If you need an alternate, and you know what? There aren't a lot of great alternates. You can take the I-17 to 89. Uh, that's a long way around. You can head out to California. You can head up the 95. Either way, again, you need to either give yourself extra time or, again, just wait it out. We, I want to let you know that we've got the chopper heading to this scene. As soon as they get there, as soon as we get some live pictures, we'll share those with you here on Good Morning Arizona. That's a check of your traffic. So, if, well, you know how when you're in a convertible and you get out and your hair is a big rat's nest? Okay, that's just like that. standing outside, right? <laughs> uh, pretty much. We've got a couple of very windy days ahead. Something to keep in mind no matter where you are across Arizona. But if you're in the hot country, maybe heading somewhere like the Grand Canyon, Boy, it's going to be really gusty. 51 degrees, looking pretty this morning. But next couple of days, strong winds for spots like Flagstaff. And a cool down, too. Upper 60s today, upper 50s for highs Friday and Saturday. Pace in 78 today, but 60s by the weekend. Sedona going to be pretty gusty with a temperature drop for you as well. The Grand Canyon, 74 today, 63, and very windy for a high tomorrow. Uh, we do have a red flag warning that includes all of those areas across northern Arizona. I'll put down the low color of River Valley to Yuma as well. Strong winds for some areas that's in effect for tomorrow as well. Winds this morning have already begun. Uh, 13 miles per hour at the Grand Canyon and Flagstaff. 20 mile per hour winds in Winslow and 29 mile per hour winds in Sholo. That's what we're going to look for this afternoon and evening across the rest of the high country. Close to 30 mile per hour winds in the deserts of the state including the valley. I think 15 to 20 mile per hour winds. So we call that breezy, not windy. Still, it's not going to be pleasant outside. 49 today for Flagstaff. Current temperatures 60 in Payson, 56 right now in uh, Prescott, and we are in the 70s across most of the Valley metro area. Here's the storm system we're tracking. Kind of hard to see right here, but it's a broad area of low pressure. It's dropping south. It's going to tap into another little disturbance off to the west of us. So we're going to get several rounds of this wind the next couple of days. Today, very dry as this approaches. Those winds pick up from the southwest. We have a little bit of moisture pulled up into the state in the form of clouds this afternoon, but by early tomorrow morning, and throughout the day, eastern Arizona, northern Arizona, you may get some rain for the valley. We do have a slight chance for some light rain, probably just sprinkles tomorrow morning. Then that system lifts up and away from us. It still kind of stays in the vicinity over the weekend, so our cooler temperatures will last. But hopefully those winds will ease up. Here's a look at temperatures. Upper 90s today, upper 80s tomorrow. And now, this is an update to your forecast. We're going to keep the temperatures in the upper 80s for Saturday now as well. We barely get to 90 on Sunday. We start to climb next week. Will we get to triple digits, though? This contest is still going on. If you have not entered yet, why not? Good evening.